The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O God. After he had washed the feet of his disciples, Jesus said to them, I tell you most solemnly, no servant is greater than his master. No messenger is greater than the man who sent him. Now that you know this, happiness will be yours if you behave accordingly. I am not speaking about all of you. I know the ones I have chosen. But what scripture says must be fulfilled. Someone who shares my table rebels against me. I tell you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am He. I tell you most solemnly, whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, during our school days, especially during the science classes, and when teacher had to take us to laboratory to explain our experiment, first she would, in the class itself, give us the theory. And after having explained the theory, only then she would lead us to the laboratory. But in the gospel passage of today, we see a reversed approach Jesus is using. First, he washes the feet of his disciples and then he tells them about the service and love that they are called to proclaim. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Jesus always did the will of his Father. Though he was the son, a beloved son of his Father, he never ever did what he wanted. But he always did what was pleasing before the eyes of his Father. And therefore, many a times, or practically every day, may be in the in the late evenings or early in the mornings, Jesus always spent the time in prayer, speaking to his Father, explaining or surrendering himself, his plans, asking the guidance. And therefore Jesus knew that he was in the safe hands. And today, in this gospel passage, Jesus is sharing his mantra with his disciples. He says to them, I tell you most solemnly, no servant is greater than his master and no messenger is greater than the man who sent him. And if you know this, happiness will be yours if you behave accordingly. So Jesus tells his disciples, the way I have behaved, the way I have always seeked the will of his Father. You are also to do the same in your daily life. And the moment they will do that, they will realize that the happiness and joy will be theirs. And that is what we see later on. The apostles, when they were tortured or martyred, they were not sad, upset, but they were joyful and happiness because they followed this teaching of Jesus very closely in their lives. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading of today that we have heard, we see that the people are asking for a word of encouragement. And Paul, he is the one who gets up and gives them 
the words of encouragement. And Paul gives them the synopsis of the history of Israel. How they were slaves, how they were led out, how these people, they wanted a king, how they got Saul. And later on, Saul was not fitting to be their king and God gave them another king that was David, who was after the heart of God. And therefore, and from the root of David or from the from the family of David, Jesus came into this world to give salvation or to bring salvation. And about whom St. John the Baptist prophesied, oh, he was the one who prepared the way. And this is the word of encouragement that Paul is giving. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are called to give through our lives by way of our behaving by way of our thinking, by way of our doing or saying, we are called to encourage. Because we see a lot of negativity has been spread around us. Everybody is wanting to be served. Everybody wanting to boss over. Everybody wanting to dominate. No one wants to surrender or no one wants to humble. Everybody wants to occupy the important places. And in this scenario, Jesus is offering us, asking us to always be humble. And St. Paul all asking us, always encourage. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we receive the strength of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, through this Holy Eucharist, the words of encouragement through the scriptures that we receive, may we strengthen ourselves first, and then go out and strengthen our brothers and sisters who are struggling, suffering, who have lost meaning in their life. To them we are called to go and proclaim this good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May God give us the grace and strength to go out and encourage our brothers and sisters.